Hey everyone, a quick update video on the on the Yaesu SCU LAN 10 remote device setup. Uh, YouTube user Wayne Robertson commented on that video and, and noted that I did not mention the port forwarding, and he's correct. I checked my second video, did not mention it. I guess because I didn't forward it and it was working, so I didn't even think about it. But in the Yaesu manual for the SCU LAN 10, it does talk about forwarding these four ports. 50,000, 50,001, 50,002, and 50,003 to the static IP address you assigned to your SCU LAN 10. So I've assigned my SCU LAN 10 right here, you can see, to 192.168.1.99. Now remember, you've got to look up your specific router's user guide to know how to do these things exactly, but I'm going to show you how to do it on my, I've got a Nighthawk, and it's the Netgear router. So once you've assigned a static IP address to your SCU LAN, you're going to come in to find port forwarding in your menus in your in your once you're logged into your router. And in the port forwarding, you're going to add my in my case it's 99, and you're going to add that four times for each one of those ports. And what it's going to do here is it's going to pop this one up right here where it says FTP 2021, and there's the address right here. Okay. And then what you do is you're going to edit that service and you're going to do this four times. Now your router, maybe you don't have to do this and you can set the whole service up without doing that step. So once you set up to set up the port, you're going to name it. And in my case, I just named them SCU LAN, as you can see here, SCU LAN 10, one, two, three, and four. And you're going to choose, so give it a name. It can be whatever you want. You're going to choose TCP UDP, and under external port range, you're going to put that 50,000 in there. And when you tab on mine, it puts the internal port range, and then you're going to apply it down here in the corner. And that will save to this window. Let me refresh it to make sure it doesn't give me an error. And you're going to do that. You're going to do that. Uh, oh, I guess it didn't. So under mine here, it's under advanced setup port forwarding and so you'll see here that I've got the SCU LAN 10 on 50,000 uh, I've named it 10-1 for 50,001, 2 for 50,002 and 3 for 50,003 and they're all assigned to my IP addresses here as you can see that the 99 which is the static IP address I gotta delete this one which is the static IP address I assigned my SCU LAN 10. So that number has to be whatever number you assigned your LAN 10 device. Once you've got these done, make sure you save it. Your router should be good to go to access your SCU LAN 10 and your radio from outside of your network. And I'll make another video and we'll test that and see if we can access it from my hotel the next time I travel. Uh, so apologies. Thanks, Wayne, for recognizing that and posting a comment so I know. And hopefully this helps everybody to be able to open the ports in the SCU LAN device. 73s, guys, and good luck on setting up your SCU LAN 10.